Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to etch this glass panel. I'm currently upcycling this small cabinet and this door is glazed and I want to etch a design on it as I want it to become an apothecary cabinet. I refitted the glass and have drawn the aperture so I know where my design needs to be. I'm going to etch the design using Armour Etch. It's quite difficult to get hold of in the UK. I got this on eBay. It's 80 gram or 2.8 fluid ounces and it costs around £11. As you can see, that's a small amount but we shouldn't need much. I've used a design program and my Cricut machine to cut a piece of vinyl with the word apothecary and a suitable design on it. I've cut it in reverse as I want the etching on the back of the glass panel. I've already done the long laborious task of weeding out all the vinyl and now it's ready to go onto the transfer tape and then position it onto the glass. I've realised that my transfer tape is too narrow for my design, so I've stuck two pieces down to a mat and I'm going to lay my design down on it. Using a flexible plastic scraper I'm lightly burnishing it to make sure there's no air bubbles and the vinyl is well stuck to the transfer tape. I'm carefully peeling the backing off making sure that all the vinyl sticks to the transfer tape. Some bits need more burnishing to get it to stick. It's worth taking your time over this after going to the trouble of weeding out all the vinyl. I should now just be able to place the glass over the design, ensuring it's correctly aligned. I'm turning it over and giving the tape a really good burnishing with the scraper. It's important to make sure all the vinyl is well adhered to the glass, as any loose areas will allow the etching cream to seep underneath and ruin your design. Slowly and carefully, I'm peeling away the transfer paper. I'm just going over the vinyl again to make sure the edges are well stuck down and there's no air bubbles. Armour etch is really corrosive and it will burn your skin so it's highly advisable to wear protective gloves and eyewear. The container has a childproof lid and it should be kept away from children and pets. Using a cheap brush I'm dabbing the etching cream quite thickly over the design. Make sure before you start you shape the container of etching cream well, as it can get quite thick. Try to avoid getting any cream outside the areas you want etching. I could have really used masking tape around the design. The vinyl acts as a barrier to the etching cream, so only the exposed areas of glass will be etched. Use the brush to agitate the cream for about 5 minutes, adding more cream where needed.
going to let that sit now for about 20 minutes or so for the cream to take effect. I've scooped up any of the excess cream and returned it to the canister as it can be reused. I've rinsed the glass thoroughly with warm water and I'm going to peel off the vinyl to reveal the etched image. As I'm removing the vinyl, I can feel with my fingernails that the etch has taken. It's a fiddly process, but it's important not to use anything metal to scrape off the vinyl, as this could damage the glass. I'm going to give it another wash and clean the Sharpie marker off with isopropyl alcohol. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.